one up Bridge Street. Day one. I'm stressed about finding a place and we're going to work something out. This in my heart is where I'm meant to be. Stress right now. I can't find an apartment still. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Here's the outfit for the first day. I've got some black bag shorts, cute little crop, and slick hair. I'm wearing some tight slick clothes because we're doing contemporary and jazz today. And I'll bring some looser pants if I want to change into them after. I'm also packing all of my dance gear because I just want to be safe, like just in case I need it. I was about to make my breakfast and lunch, but I just realized I don't have any plates or bowls or knives. So we're gonna go downstairs and hopefully they have some I can use. If not, breakfast in a cup. Okay, I'm so dumb. I have containers. I'm just gonna make my breakfast in here and eat it. It is day one of Bridge Street and I am on my way. I'm feeling really, really excited, but really scared. But again, take a deep breath and do it anyway. It's gonna be amazing and terrifying at the same time, but this walk is stunning on the way here. It is now day two of Brent Street and I am so excited. I'm a bit tired. I stayed up a bit late last night calling some friends and stuff. So I'm a bit sleepy and I, that's definitely not going to happen again. I need to make sure that I'm sleeping and eating enough and all of that. But I'm very excited today. We have ballet first, which is why I've got my hair in a ballet bun. And then we have jazz slash commercial and then we have singing and then musical theater so it's gonna be a pretty good day and I'm really excited also I know I've literally already said this but I'm so happy that I get to walk through Moore Park every day like look how beautiful there's water over there and it's just like stunning and it's only like 8 30 and the weather is beautiful maybe I'll get a tan while I'm here in Australia who knows day one is done and day one was beautiful made lots of new friends um, it talked to lots of people, very exciting. Day one is like hard, but I feel like it's gonna keep being a bit difficult for the next week or so, just while like I settle in and find a house. I went to go apartment searching, as you can see from those videos, and it wasn't the space that I kind of want to live in for a year. I want to be in a space that I feel comfortable in and at home in, so I just want to find the nicest place possible. And I went to check out another potential option that I haven't gone inside yet, but I just wanted to look at the location of. And it's right near a bulk food store, and I think that could be a good option. My arm is hurting from holding this camera. I can't really film much while I'm at Brent Street because we can't have our cameras in the studio, and obviously I want to focus on my training. So I will keep you updated after. So this was the apartment that I looked at in the afternoon. It was just a small studio flat. I didn't like how the kitchen was in the same room as my bedroom and there wasn't much space overall so I decided not to get it. I just got home from a great day at Brent Street. Day two felt even better than day one. We had ballet, then commercial, then singing, then musical theatre and my legs are on fire. Everything hurts and I'm exhausted. I went to pick up some dinner. I had a little poke bowl situation. And before that, I went to look at two other rental properties that I could potentially move into. Neither of which were right. They were too small and I realized that I probably don't want to live on my own. So I'm now 
looking at some more. I'm mostly stressed about finding a place because once I find a place that I'm comfortable in um, and happy with, then I will be settled in, but I'm just really worried that I'll just have to kind of do what works and then I'll be unhappy all year, you know? So I really want to find a place that has like a nice bedroom, maybe sharing with a couple of other females, close, near a sort of park, and is like modern and furnished and all that. We're gonna work something out and I'm just gonna manifest a good apartment tonight and hopefully I find something. It is now day three um, of going to Brent Street and I'm so excited for today. It has officially started pouring with rain, so I'm walking in the pouring rain to school. And the walk's like 30 minutes, half of my walk is in the rain, so I'm gonna arrive being soaking wet. I am <laughs> maybe a third of the way to Brent Street and I'm already really soaked. I was really excited for my outfit today actually. I've got the flared pants and like the side is cut out. And by the time I get there, they're gonna be drenched, so that's fun. I'm fighting a storm out here, it's not so much that bad. It's just, it's just raining a little bit, but my body today is feeling really sore. I was supposed to stretch and foam roll last night. I didn't, I procrastinated it, um, and it didn't happen. So not to self is to do that, because now I'm facing the consequences of having sore muscles. But yeah, I'm really excited for today. big day of dancing. We had very intense classes. My legs are already hurting and I just need to like foam roll and stretch. Bit of a mission to get upstairs. Good morning everyone. It is now day four of going to Brent Street. I am always excited in the morning. I'm currently listening to um, some hype music to get me in the mood is uh, very fun so that I come to dance and I'm very energetic. Yeah, it's going to be a very good day today. I feel it in my soul. I'm running slightly late. We need to be there at 8.45 and I left at like 8.16 and it takes me half an hour to walk there so I'm like power walking but with classes and start till 9 so I will be fine. I'm just a perfectionist who likes to be on time. I'm now walking through Moore Park, my fave, I absolutely love it, and I just can't help but like be smiling to myself and be wanting to dance as I walk, like I'm just so happy, I feel like this in my heart is where I'm meant to be, and this just shows you, if you go out of your comfort zone and just take an opportunity, no matter how big or scary it might be, it could be the best thing that's ever happened to you, and that's what I honestly feel right now is that I'm meant to be here. And it's just a really special feeling. Like I'm just smiling, like the sun's shining, there are dogs playing in the park, I'm on my way to my dream dance school. Like it just it just means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I just can't help but smile and I just want to like party and dance. <laughs> I literally just ran to the bank. I'm getting one over by a car, that's fun. I literally just ran to the bank because I finished dance at four and the bank shuts at five. It takes half an hour to walk to my motel to get my ID. Then I like sprinted and made it with like five minutes till closing. I need a bank card in order to start up my mobile plan because my mobile plan is going to run out soon and if it does, I'm fucked because I need to be able to have maps, order Ubers, all of that jazz. I can't get the card until I have an address to go to and I can't find an apartment still. So it's all like this big circle of stress right now. Ow. Ow. This is the stair rail by the way. So as you can see, as you can see I almost fell is how tired my legs are and my blisters are killing me. But now, I'm at my hotel room and I can have a nap. And we go. I'm so tired. My hotel room is a little bit of a mess. I've got bags open and everything. Just because it's been so busy. Let me take this off. 
I went to the shop to go and get some magnesium tablets because my muscles are killing me and our musical theatre teacher told us that they are really good for recovery um, and I also got some deep heat cream and some plasters so lots of things to keep my body nice and safe and in check after a very long day I've just made dinner I had some chicken rolls with like lettuce and hummus and chicken and some egg I don't have a kitchen or anything all I have is that sink so I just have to make food without cooking it which can be a bit difficult but that was an easy fix and then now I'm eating this delicious raw vegan slice that's sugar-free it's by the brand wellness by Tess and it came in this cute little container and I'm watching some anime because one of my friends recommended it to me so I'm going to do that now relax a bit and then have a shower and go straight to bed I also need to sort out an apartment at some stage but I'm watching Netflix because I just really need a break virtually emotionally physically all of the above so I'm having a bit of a rest Good morning, it is now day five. It is Friday, my fifth day of Brent Street and I am so tired. Everything is very sore today. I had some magnesium tablets this morning and last night to try um, settle things down and also to try and reduce the stiffness. I also foam rolled and stretched last night so I'm not as stiff as I probably would be. However, I am very sore and then I left my name tag at home which we needed for today for grading and stuff like that so I had to sprint back to the hotel and then I sprinted half the way to Brent Street so that I could still arrive on time so now I'm extra tired yeah I'm excited today's a good day it was pouring with rain before so now I'm soaking wet I ran in the rain we have tap grading in the morning then we have jazz technique and then we've got like some commercial and heels classes which should be fun however I don't yet have any proper heels so that's a mission for the weekend alongside potentially getting some point shoes and some character shoes so there's a lot to do still and then this afternoon I have a inspection for a new apartment and it has mirrors on the wardrobes which is what I manifested so hopefully it's good because it's only a 30 minute walk away from Brent Street I'm just hoping it works out because I only have until Sunday week one is now done Today was the best day ever. I was exhausted, as I said this morning, but it was a great day all in all. We started off with jazz technique and we ended up just stretching for a lot of it. And then we had tap, then we had a heels class, and then we had a musical theatre heels, and I loved it so much. That is definitely my jam. So now I'm going off to an apartment inspection to see if this is going to be the right apartment for me. I'm just chilling in the park. I'm gonna take some magnesium tablets. So this was the shared house. There were eight rooms in total, two of which were taken by the time I arrived. I met a couple of really nice guys who were also looking at moving in, and then two girls from France who were moving into the rooms downstairs. So out of the eight bedrooms, I was deciding between this smaller room here, which was 230 a week, and this bigger room here, which had slightly more room and an extra wardrobe as well, which was really good, but neither of them felt quite right. So I paid the deposit for the bigger room and then I went home and I decided that I would get the more expensive room and I mean look how cool it is it even has a purple couch and it's huge and then there was also this interesting bathroom in the house that had a pink bathtub blue tiles and a blue shower curtain guys I found a house <laughs> I found a house. I'm so happy. I was walking up the street looking at the neighborhood and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. Um, and then I went into the house and I manifested having mirrors on the wardrobe in my bedroom and every single wardrobe there had mirrors. It is moving day. Oh my God. Move into my dream apartment. She's looking pretty good. Ah, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. 